On this video, we have Andrew piloting the Class Lexian 8800. And on front of that is the Shelbourne Reynolds 42 foot stripper header. So you may have seen on my page, we've got a daytime video of this in action. And this is the same day, but we're moving into the night and I thought it'd be worth looking at the Lexian working. You can see the light pike and you can see what's happening with that stripper header and what it's like basically to harvest in the evenings. And there goes Michael with a full load, ready to go and tip back at the yard. So this is a wheat field. Now we're going to have a look in cab and see what it's like from Andrew's perspective. Just in cab now with Andrew. And this is what the Shelbourne Reynolds strip header looks like from here. A lot more relaxing not seeing the real spinning round. So I think that's a lot easier on the operators. You don't get combine itis by the end of the season. Currently doing between seven and seven and a half K and about 76 ton an hour. And it's moisture's picking up, but it could do more than that. It's capable of doing a round, possibly up to even a hundred ton an hour, but Andrew's just getting used to it. It's his first night or the first time using this stripper header. So it's all, all new to him. And what's happening with the stripper header is it's taking just the tops of wheat off the plant. Uh, it's processing the chaff out the back of the machine. But that means the machine's running with a lot less um, power, so it can go faster and it also reduces the fuel usage. We've got Andy there in the Versatile with the horse chaser bin. And we've got a little video. If you follow this on towards the end, right to the end of this video, you'll see I went up uh, this afternoon, I had a look in the field, and I took a little video to show the uh, oilseed rape growing up between, uh, between the rows, so you can have a little look. Because quite a few people have asked me in the past, what, so what happens next, what's it look like? So I went up to just get a little shot of that, and you'll see that right at the end of the video. I always get a buzz being out with the, any of the teams working. The night this year, the night harvest, been fantastic. Really enjoyed it. Been really pleased with some of the drone shots that we've got as well. In comes the auger. This auger folds about a third of the way down. That means it's easier on the road, reduce its overall length. And you'll look there, you can see the actual stalks popping back up as the header passes through. There's the tracks on the Lexian, and there's Andrew. I don't think he knows I'm right next to him at that point, but I like to uh, I like to fly as close as possible. And the orb is just about to kick off now, and you'll see when it comes out, it comes out in a spiral pattern that matches the shape of the auger, which is passing up the actual arm. And it doesn't take it long at all to actually empty the tank. There you can see the grain coming in, the wheat coming in. In comes the auger. There you can see the difference. People have said it's not stripping anything off. But if you look down there, you'll see to the left and right, that has been stripped. So you can see the difference there shows what it actually does. It's just taking the top of the plant where the actual wheat is off. I think if anything, the nighttime harvest actually shows the strip in of the wheat better than it does in the daytime with the lights, the way the lights are shining down. The power station in the background. And again, into position, ready for another unload. Now what's happening now is you can see the lights flashing on the Lexium, that is telling Andy that he's at a capacity. Now that can be set uh, within the control system on the Lexium to, to come on at a certain amount. And the reason they've got a long auger on that is they run on this farm what's called control traffic, so they only ever go onto the same wheelings. 
when it runs. It's a 36 metre control traffic and they run at 12 metre intermediaries. So the spray is a 36 metre sprayer, but some of the implements, for example, some of the horse joker or the Farmette Phantom, that's 12 metres, so that has to run, if they're working on that field, they have to run at the 12 metre intermediaries. I'm really impressed with the light pack on the Lexium. I've seen quite a few combines in operation at night this year and uh, it really has stood out to have uh, uh, one of the best packs on for visibility from the driver's perspective. So coming up next is that video showing you what the crop looks like in this field. And I thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video. So I thought I'd come back to the same field and we can have a little look at some of the rapeseed growing within the stripped wheat. So there you go.